Welcome to Microsoft Access Expert Level 12, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's class, we're going to build an order list form so we can see a summary of all the orders in our system with the customer and the order total. You'll be able to click on any one of those orders and quickly open up the order form. Then we're going to build a work log entry form. So we can type in the employee, the time in, the time out. The database will automatically calculate their hours worked. We'll learn how to populate values based on defaults in the form footer. You can specify a default employee, so you can pick the employee once and then just type in time in, time out, time in, time out for each day. Or you can do it the other way. You can enter in a date and then type in each employee. This will cut down on a lot of repetitive data entry. Then we're going to spend a lot of time in today's class learning about report grouping and sorting levels. We'll start off simple with a report showing customers grouped by state. Then we'll create a report showing hours worked by week grouped by the week of the year and showing hourly totals for each week for each employee. Then we'll make a sales report where all of our orders are broken down into $500 intervals, 0 to 500, 500 to 1,000, and so on. And of course, in each of these lessons, there are a million tips and tricks along the way. This class was recorded with Access 2013. However, the lesson should work fine with 2007 and 2010. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, sorting and grouping, was handled much, much differently. Contact customer service and we'll tell you which lessons you need. This class follows Access Expert Level 11. I strongly recommend that you take Level 11 before watching this course. Level 11 covers aggregate queries, complex query criteria, sales totals by month, and the employee work log. A couple of these concepts will be building on more in today's class, so it's very important that you've taken Level 11 before today's class. My courses are broken up into beginner, expert, advanced, and developer level classes. Beginner level classes are for novices. You should understand all the topics covered in them by the time you get to the expert level classes, which you're in now. When you finish all of the expert level classes, the advanced classes will cover event programming and macros, and the developer classes will cover Visual Basic for applications. Each group of classes is broken down into multiple levels, level 1, 2, 3, and so on. In addition to my normal access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders and running a service business, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, creating loan amortization schedules, and lots more. You can find details on all of these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course in the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class video. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them and comments that other students have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to join in the discussion. If you are not watching these lessons on my website, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com slash forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum and I'll do my best to help you. Most importantly, 
keep an open mind. Access may seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now I strongly encourage you to build the database that I build in today's class by following along with the videos. However, if you would like to download a sample copy of my finished database file, you can find it on my website at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. Sometimes if you get stuck, the easiest way to learn is to tear apart someone else's database. One of the ways that I taught myself access years ago was by tearing apart the Northwind Traders database that comes with Microsoft Access. You'll find there's a sample database for each of my courses on my website. Now let's take a few minutes and go over exactly what we're going to cover in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to build an order list form to show a list of all our orders, sorted by order date with the customer information, the order total, whether it's a quote or an invoice and whether or not it's paid. We'll make a button to open the selected order, another button to requery the list of orders, and of course a 90 day sales total. In lesson two, we're going to build a work log form to track our employees' activities and their time in, time out, and hours worked. In lesson three, we're going to fix the collection letters that we broke when we changed the way the order entry system calculates the amount due. Initially, amount due was just a single field in my order table, and then we added the order details table to add more details to our orders. That unfortunately broke the collection letters so in this lesson, we're going to fix them. In lesson four, we're going to begin taking a look at report grouping levels, where you can group records on a report based on one or more fields, such as show me all the customers grouped by state. In lesson five, we're continuing our look at report grouping levels. In lesson six, we're going to build a work log report, grouped by employee, grouped again, by the week of the year, displaying the week begin date, and then calculating the total hours worked. We've seen so far how to group by text and by dates. Now we're going to see how to group by numbers or currency values. In lesson eight, I've got a few little miscellaneous items to cover. I'm gonna talk about group by expression. I'm gonna show you the simple report wizard, which also handles grouping levels and I'm going to give you your homework for the next class.